In this video, we'll be having a look at the following optimization problem. What is the largest possible area of a rectangle that can be inscribed in the unit circle x squared plus y squared equals 1? If you like, you can pause the video and have a go at the problem yourself before having a look at the solution. Okay, let's have a look at the solution. Okay, I've drawn a unit circle over here and I've made O the origin. So that's the center of the unit circle. And now I'm making A, B, C, D, a rectangle inscribed in the circle. And I've made it, I've written possibly degenerate here, which means that in the extreme case, uh, you could have something like A, B being the same point and C, D being the same point. Uh, even though this is not technically a rectangle because it doesn't have any, any width, uh, I still included this case as well, just to make it uh, easier to analyze this optimization problem. Um, so the first geometrical observation we can make is all four angles A, B, C, D of the rectangle must be 90 degrees. So all four of these angles are 90 degrees. And also, um, since uh, we have those 90 degree angles, it means that A, C, and B, D must be diameters of the circle. So AC and BD are diameters. And this means that AC and BD must pass through the origin O. So now we're letting AB equal to X. So we have X over here for AB. And what we notice is X, uh, since we are allowing for degenerate rectangles, so X can vary between zero and two. So when X is zero, so when X is zero, we have a situation like this where A and B sort of collapse into the same point. And other example, when X is two, this is X equals zero. And when X is two, you have this other extreme case of, you have uh, A, you have A and D like this, and B and C like this. So that's the other extreme case. Now we can find BC using Pythagoras theorem. So uh, using triangle, using triangle ABC. So this triangle over here, uh, you can do AB squared plus BC squared equals AC squared. So you get x squared plus bc squared equals 2 squared. So bc is equal to the square root of 4 minus x squared. Now to find the area of the rectangle, you can uh, do the width times the height. So this is equal to ab times bc, which is x times the square root of 4 minus x squared. So we can let, uh, we can define the function f of x to equal x times the square root of 4 minus x squared, or which is the same as x times uh, 4 minus x squared to the power of half. So this is defined on the interval of 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2. OK, so now we can uh, do some analysis for the optimization by looking at the derivative of the function on the interval of 0 and 2. But this is on the open interval 0, 2, because that's where the derivative is defined. So we're not using the endpoints for the derivative. So the derivative, we can calculate using the product rule. So we take the derivative of x and then times by this, and then also take the derivative of the square root of 4 minus x squared and times by x. So derivative of x is 1. So we have just the square root of 4 minus x squared here. Derivative of this expression, uh, we can calculate as so it's the minus 2x times half over the square root of 4 minus x squared, and then you're timesing it by x as well. Now you can bring everything under the denominator of four min uh, square root of 4 minus x squared. So you're squaring this square root here, and uh, this over here becomes x. You have a minus x squared here. And now we 
we undo the square root by squaring again. So we eventually end up with the derivative is two times two minus x squared over the square root of four minus x squared. And now we can have a look at when derivative is zero to look for stationary points. This only occurs when two minus x squared is equal to zero. This is when x squared equals two. And since uh, x is positive and less than two, uh, we only take positive solution of x equals square root of two. So yeah, so the only stationary point on the open interval zero two is at x equals square root of two. Now, the possible candidates for the maximum area Candidates can only be the stationary points on the open interval zero two, or the, or we can also check the endpoints of zero, zero and two as well. This will so one of these values will be the maximum area. Uh, however, if you look at x equals zero and two, you if you substitute it into the area formula, you find that the area is equal to zero. So this is expected because since that was a degenerate case, uh, it either has no width or height, so that means the area will have to be zero. So only in this root two case, if you calculate root two times the square root of four minus square root two all squared, uh, uh, square root two squared, you end up with square root of two then squared, which is two. So since two is the largest of these three values, the maximum area has to be two. This occurs when X equals square root of two. So there's only one value of X where you get the maximum and just uh, another remark or observation. If you substitute x equals square root two, um, ab is equal to square root two and bc is equal to the square root of four minus x squared. And this is equal to square root of four minus the square root of two squared. And this is also equal to root two. So uh, it turns out that ab equals bc. And this means that abcd is a square in the maximum area case. So it also says that to maximize the area, uh, you need to have a square. So your rectangle has to be a square. Okay, so that concludes the solution to this optimization problem. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.